Hi, it's Anya from Divi Lover. I would like to show you today how to add some nice hover effects to Divi. This is an About Me page layout I created recently and it has some hover effects applied to buttons, columns here, um, rows, elements inside the row. So when I hover over this row, an image changes. And also elements inside the module, like icon inside the blurb module or icon inside a social follow module. So I have uh, the same page here and there's no uh, additional CSS. So let me uh, add some first. We need to have a custom CSS class for our buttons and it's called DL button. I will add the CSS in the page settings here, but you can add it in theme customizer or in your style sheet. That's up to you. Let's say DL button hover. And let's make it a bit bigger. So we'll use transform scale and one is like 100%. So slightly bigger. And also let's add uh, the, some shadow. So box shadow and shorthand is uh, horizontal offset, vertical offset, blur size and spread. I will use negative value to contract the shadow a bit and color at the end. We'll use RGBA to have a semi-transparent black color. Okay, let's save that. Great, we can also move it up a bit so it grows and also moves a little bit uh, to the top. And we can use that, uh, we don't have have to use the margin because it may affect other elements but we can also use transform uh, so transform can have multiple values we'll use scale and also translate uh, with y and negative value will move it up Save. Let's check. Yes, that's lovely, I think. Uh, and you can use the same CSS for any module, really, because it will like make it bigger and jump out of the page. So I think that's nice. Next thing I would like to do uh, is add uh, a hover effect to this section here. As you can see, it has blurb modules here, free blurbs and free text modules. Uh, so blurb only displays icon and the separate module uh, is here to have different background. I need to uh, hover uh, add the hover selector on the column, not on the module. That's why I need a custom CSS class on uh, the column. And I could add that here to each column separately, or I can add a class to a row and target column inside that row. So I have a DL services class yeah, for my row and now in my 
my CSS, I will target my column with ETPB column selector. Let's maybe have a look at the at the page here. Let me show you. If I choose right click and inspect uh, this is my row. It has DL services class and I have three columns inside and each has uh, a standard DV uh, CSS class for column which is ETPB column. That's why we use this here and we also want to target the hover state and let's also move it up a bit so again transform translate y maybe a bit more than a button like 10 pixels let's save that and let's see it does work but uh, it jumps the transition isn't smooth so we need to add a CSS transition <laughs> and this needs to be applied on the on the element not only on hover but on the standard state of the element so we need to have transition If we can choose what properties will be transitioned let's say all how long the transition takes and the transition property okay if I save that now it moves um, smoothly so that's also uh, nice I think Next section I would want to show you is this one. Um, here I used an um, image that's um, that has color and <laughs> and looks uh, different, and I used um, module settings to change the image. Let me show you. In the design tab. I used filters, I um, decreased the saturation and I also uh, added a little blur and also uh, decreased the opacity of the image. So now I want to show the original image on hover, that's why I don't have to write the uh, long CSS for filters. I can just remove the filters I added with the V options. So let me, uh, I could target my um, image, but I want this effect to work when I hover over the row, not only directly on image, but when I hover over the row, I want the image to to change to be shown without the filters applied. So I need a CSS class that's on the row. Let me check what my class is. It's DL project. And for the uh, CSS, we'll target our image inside the project row dl project and the selector for image module is uh, sorry this the css class is etpb image uh, so we also need to add the transition for the smooth effect let me change the timing to one second and for the hover state we will only remove the filters so simply filter none and 
make it important but the hover selector won't be here on the image because like I said when I hover over the row I want the image to change let's save that oh sorry it's uh, I misspelled that filter again save And now it works. So I hover here and my image changes. I think that's a nice effect. But uh, we need to remove the filters because there's no hover state on mobile. We need to remove the filters for mobile. So let me add a media query here. Anything uh, below uh, 980 pixels will also remove the filter, not only on hover, but always. Okay, and uh, that should work. And let's uh, see the last part I want to show you is how to target elements inside uh, a module. So we have to check our selector. Mm, this is the blurb module and I want to shrink an icon a bit on hover. So I have to check my icon is actually a span element with an ETPB icon class and my blurb module has a custom CSS class of DL icon blurb. So DL icon blurb hover ETPB icon. Let's scale it. Transform scale. Let's make it smaller. And we also need uh, the icon to transition smoothly. So let's add a transition. Lovely. Let's save that. Great, I'm hovering over a blurb and my icon changes. And to do the same for um, social follow module. Let's make it a bit better so you see better. First, I want to um, change the size of my icon. Um, And it's the before pseudo class. It has a font size of 16. You see, this is the element we want to target, but instead of the general ETPB social media class, I will use my own custom class, which is DL social. So first I will make my icon, icons bigger. And now I can make them uh, smaller on hover. So again, I want uh, to add transition and I want to scale my uh, icon when I hover over the icon. It works with hover before. So this This is 
not needed. Okay, let's save. Let's refresh the page. Yeah, that's great. So hopefully you uh, find something you can use in these few CSS tips. If you like this layout, you can download it, download the JSON file and use it on your site. Thanks for watching and see you next time.